This is so exciting. I mean, you have a new single out because you have a brand new album on the way. So you just released Jimmy. And uh, like, let's talk about that because you, you once said that this song came about as like a happy accident. <laughs> so what do you mean by that? Like, how does a happy accident happen like this? That's how most of them come. It's just like, it's something that takes two minutes to, to inspire. And then it, the rest of it follows afterwards. Like the line, I love you like I love my guitar. That's what inspired the rest of the song. And it just kind of popped in there when I was looking at a, a Purple Rain poster that I had in my room. And uh, that's kind of that's kind of where that came from. So you're a fan of Prince. I am. I am a fan of Prince. That's how it all. That's how all, all of that started. Oh, really? That's so awesome. I just wanted to say that I think that it's so cool. A lot of the time with these iconic songs, you expect some sort of essay or huge story of like, you know, you killed yourself coming up with it. But a lot of the time, it's like this lightning in a bottle that you're sitting somewhere you don't expect and it just hits you. And it sounds like that was the case here. Yeah, like it's a combination of personal experience and the lightning in a bottle, right? It kind of takes a, a little bit of a synthesis of those two things, you know? So you've opened up for Justin Timberlake, uh, mm -hmm. and now you're opening up for the Backstreet Boys for some of their Canadian dates. Have you ever thought to yourself when you're standing up on stage, oh my God, how did I even get here? Like, Absolutely. that must be such a great yeah. feeling. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm actually in the States now on some of their run in the United States as well. I'm oh, really? In the States as well. Yeah. Um, no, a lot of this is uh, for, always with the Timberlake thing. I was like, did that even happen really? Because then the pandemic hit after that. And then that felt like that also didn't happen either. So a lot of existential questions after those types of experiences. So <laughs> to be able to do it again after the pandemic was is. I'm like, hey, I have to uh, uh, have to count my blessings, right? That must have been uh, actually tough. Now you mentioned it because you opened, uh, you know, with Justin. It was before the pandemic. Then the pandemic hit, so it's felt like probably there's some more momentum coming for you career-wise. And then the world shut down, but mm -hmm. then things they're looking up. I mean, you're opening up for the Backstreet Boys. How did all that feel? Like it must have been such a roller coaster. It was because I was used to being in my pajamas for two years, chilling and doing <laughs> thing. And then I come back and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, 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 we're, we're ready. We're good to go. We're good to go. We have to, we have to get going. You know what I mean? So it was, it was a switch. It was a big switch. I don't know if you've been told that you're a bit of a hair trendsetter. Have you heard this? Really? Because let me tell you, if I go to the gym, they almost all have this curl. Or they attempt to have the same hairstyles, Francesco Yates. They want these <laughs> curls. Nobody does it like you. Is this a natural curl situation or do you have tips for people that want to achieve the same look? It is. There is a natural curl situation, but I think if you have curly hair, you got to use moisturizer. Don't use like curl creams or leave-in conditioners or anything. The moisturizer is the, is the way to go. I don't know, but it's a natural curl. It's, it's the way it is, you know? Monica, can you relate to that? Uh, no, I can never. Uh, you know what? I have dreams of striving your your hair status here because I don't have, <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I mean, the summer is my worst enemy. I have wavy slash curly hair and it's like, you never know what's going to happen when I get out of the shower. Yeah, but now no, I'm going to have to do this moisture thing. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way. No more curl cream. All right. Moisture all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the music video for Jimmy is pretty cool. I watched it this morning for like the fourth time and I just love the whole vibe. How did you come up with the concept for that video? It's a bit of a throwback, right? It's somewhat of an Alice in Wonderland kind of situation. It's more based on the whole visual presentation than anything that's actually like a, like a story. But the story is you go in with a, just a plain leather jacket and then you end up in thrall in the whole and in, in that whole other universe you know you start one way and then you know you, you get pulled into something that's the whole theme of it so with jimmy that's the first song off your third upcoming album when can we expect more from you probably around like the second quarter of next year i'm trying to get a big setup going and you know get back in the swing of things feels good feels good to be back so does that mean that you'll be doing your own uh, tour and, and hitting up some some of the Canadian cities for your, yeah. your own tour? Yep. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun time. Hey, maybe awesome. you'll get JT to open for you. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Never say never. Oh, you listen, the man. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I go with it now. I go with the flow. <laughs> when when you've opened for guys like uh, you know Justin and for the Backstreet Boys, you get to hang out with them at all? Like, what's that Sometimes. like? Sometimes, you know, with with Justin, I got to a little more um, than some of the Backstreet Boys. With AJ, I hang out with the most. He seems to be the most. Uh, um, he's the one I got the closest with, you know, because I, I I was doing work with him before. So yeah, sometimes, you know. Oh, nice. That's cool. I didn't realize that you've done some work with AJ because I know that he's released some of his own stuff too on mm -hmm. more than one occasion. So that's pretty cool yep. that you got to work with him. Yeah, yeah. So beyond the album, like what's what's next? What are you hoping to do next? I say the tour, the album, and a whole lot more. You know, I, I never got a chance to really dive into music the way that I wanted to because of the pandemic, but it's all about gaining like a healthy momentum and that's what i want to build for myself it's just to keep me going you know what i mean that is awesome yeah. well, try to pace yourself you don't want to burn out of course <laughs> of course of course <laughs> well we thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us uh good luck with touring with the backstreet boys thank you so much for uh, joining us today right on guys thank you for having me have a great one bye bye